Welcome back students. In this video lesson, we will learn scope and visibility of variables. The scope of variable refers in which part of program the variable can be used. Visibility of variables in a program depends on the type of variables we use. So there are three types of variables available. Class variables, instance variables and local variables that is including parameters. Let us see what is class variables. Variables that declared inside the class and outside all the blocks and also mentioned as static are called class variables. These are visible in any part of the class. I will explain through a simple program. So I am creating a class called basic calc. I will import java.util.scanner class basic calc. Class variables are declared inside the class but outside the methods are any block. It is also mentioned as static. So I will give static int x comma y to numbers I take and then sum I calculate and then also product I calculate. So now we can declare the method public static void input of IQ. So I will take input for x and y. Scanner sc is equal to new scanner of System dot in system dot out dot print line of I say enter first number for that I take x is equal to sc dot next int of then again I need to take the second number. I copy and paste it here. I make it this as y and then this as second number. So now we have taken the input. Let me create one more method called calc of or sum we will do. void sum of. So here simply I create sum of two numbers. s is equal to x plus y. So now I wanted to print this. Now I will create one more method. Wide pro of. So now I give p is equal to x into y. Then I also print this. So I am giving here product. Then here it has P. Now I will create a main method. I wanted to call all the methods for that I need to create a object. The class name is basic calc obj I give as a object name is equal to new basic calc of. Then now the object name there is obj dot input of then obj dot sum of obj dot pro of so let me compile this
enter first number 87 23 so you can see the result is there so now it is clear that when we give as a class variable it can be in any part of the program so x is there in this method and y also there this s is in some method p is in some other method so here you can see this is a static method these two are not static method again here main method is static method so let us read once again variables that declared inside the class and outside all the blocks and also mentioned as static so all this we have done then it is visible any part of the program next instance variable variables that declared inside a class and outside all the methods and blocks is called as an instance variable so here the difference is we are not giving as static scope of an instance variable is throughout the class except in static methods so let us see this so now i have static here i just remove this static here let me compile so you can see errors found in the class let us see what and all the error so non static variable x cannot be referenced from a static context and the next one again y also the same way here s yes is there this is in the non static method so it can allow same like that the p also can be allowed in this method which is non static method so here we are not using any variables directly we have printed here itself so if we remove this static from this method then we can compile this no syntax error so now this will run without a problem so let us run this one first number then second number so we get the result here so the variable which is inside the class but outside the blocks without static then it is called instance variable next one local variables all other variables which are not instance and class variables are treated as local variables including the parameters scope of a local variable is until the control leaves the block in which it is declared if we declare a variable inside the method it will not be available in other methods if there are some blocks inside the block if we declare then interior blocks are not visible outside if we have variable outside the blocks the interior blocks can have the variable so let us go back to the program now what i do i remove this x and y from here then i make it inside this method int x comma y see here it is inside this input of so you can see here there is no error in this block so here already it is showing as an error here because x and y is outside this method so that is in another method cannot find symbol variable y even cannot find symbol variable x even here in the next method also we won't be able to get the variable so whenever we use many methods where we are using common variables then it should be static variable that is a class variable inside the class but before all the methods itself we will declare so that will be the 
best one in case if we have these two in input itself so i will cancel this method itself i delete the method and then put it inside this here s is equal to x plus y also been calculated here itself it is printed so there won't be any problem because s and p are instance variable here it can be allowed inside this input of and then x and y are local variables so let us have this as a comment line i just hide this so now compile there won't be any problem it will print it will print the sum of that number so first number is 5 second number is 10 so 15 is the answer here now i will show how it works inside the blocks and outside the blocks for that in this method itself i create a for loop for i say x is equal to 5 then x is lesser than or equal to 10 x plus plus now simply i print x x so that is in print line next next line it will print we have already declared x inside the method so it is taking for this for loop now compile this there won't be any syntax error in case i declare here one more int m then m is equal to m plus 1 so i will have m as 25 just for example see i come out of this for loop and i say system dot out dot print line of i give m see inner loop i have declared m it is outside the loop so here it will not work so interior variables will not work outside the block of the code compile so cannot find symbol variable m but at the same time x is in the method it is used inside that for loop so that is inner block so it is available here so now let us see as a parameter so here i will not have this import statement then i will not have all these in tex comma in y so i have given s is equal to x plus y so let us not have this for loop and all so this is a very simple one s is equal to x plus y will be done without any error no error here so let us have this now so i delete this then i remove this also so x and y are parameter here it is the next method which is call this x and y see here you can see cannot find symbol variable y so the parameter also a local variable only all other variables which are not instance and class variables are treated as local variables including parameters scope of a variable is until the control leaves the block in which it is declared variables declared in interior blocks are not visible outside of that block variables declared in exterior blocks are visible to the interior blocks students keep watching my videos learn more share others thank you students